Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an empties video and this is going to be a late one as well. I know it came up late last month and it is today this month as well. So these are all items that I have used up this month. I think there is one declutter. The declutter this month is my OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. Let's just put the basket up here. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This is a glitter off or glitter peel off base coat that I really really liked. It's not cruelty free so that is a plus that it is going out of my collection. But we were traveling to Bornholm which, which is an island here in um, Denmark and because it is a peel off uh, base coat and uh, well yeah I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Can you see the glass neck of the bottle is in the top. It broke when we traveled and now it's just gooey uh, because there came air into the bottle and now it's just not it's not usable anymore so this is going directly into the trash if you know any glitter peel off base coats that is cruelty free please let me know because i am interested because i missed this one <laughs> I have some exciting empties for makeup, actually. The least exciting one is a primer, and this is the Essence Prime Plus Studio Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer. This is with black clay, so clay is obviously really good for if you have oily skin. I have a combination to oily skin, so I really, really like this primer. It has a really nice consistency. It was not any type of silicone primer ish that I really hate that all makeup companies does for oily skin. This is not the case. Yeah, my makeup was really really nice throughout the day. It didn't fall off or cake off or cake up or anything like that. Whatever you want to say, it was a really nice primer. It has a scent to it, but I think that is the clay. Yeah, I think that is the clay. So it's kind of a skincare kind of small so I didn't really mind that. Pore minimizing I do use a different primer for that so maybe it is um, but I really really like this overall and it's inexpensive because it's essence but I would, really, I, I would buy this again. I would and I really really liked it. Oops. This is my lip oil from Noble Nordic and I have gone through a few of these now that I, I really really like it. It's clear but in the product itself it, it's like a blue turquoise um, color. It's really really nice and moisturizing for my lips so I really really like it and I will definitely buy this again when I am a little bit lower on my lip balms in my collection but this is definitely a repurchase because it has like a doe foot applicator and everything like that. And as you can see, you can get all like all of it out. I finished this one. I'm really excited. I finished this in like a month. It is the W7 Lip Twister in Rust. It's like a darker nude color. It was a little bit dark for every day, but if you topped it off with a lighter lip uh, lipstick or something like that, it was usable. And of course, I used it up. So that is really, really exciting. And I love these ones. I will always buy them again. But I need to get my stash down to a decent number of lip pencils before I buy any of these again. But yeah, this was a really, really nice one and the color was really nice. I really liked it. They stay on and they're creamy and pigmented and they are just easy to apply. Okay, the most exciting item is for last, of course, and that is a blush. I finished the red cream blush that I... Have been working on for one and a half year. I finished it. I'm really excited about it. Here in June, there was so little left that I was getting so impatient that I used it like a handful of times as a lip product as well as a blush because I used it as a blush underneath my foundation every single day for the last one and a half year. I really, really <laughs> like a cream blush, but I don't think I will buy it again, even though I liked it. But just because it is an extra step in my makeup routine and because I'm so fair, even though I have color, this is me being tan. 
not entirely tan, but a tan. I'm not going to buy it again. <laughs> a definitely not a red blush. Oh my god. If I'm going to have a cream blush in my life again, it's definitely going to be kind of a nude color that I could put on top of foundation. This one had to be one underneath. So, yeah. It's done. I'm so excited. So that is all my makeup empties for the month. So that bag can go up here. And then we have some... Some of them are exciting and some of them are not. <laughs> Let's take the not so exciting one. Too Faced, Sendium, Mint. Done. And then I have experienced uh, something with my hair during my pregnancy. And it is... I have no idea. What, what is it called in English? I didn't look that up. I just realized. Dandruff. Dandruff. I have no idea. That sounds weird. Is that right? Dandruff on the scalp. Is that right? Dandruff. Okay, let's say it's, it's, it's dandruff. In Danish it is called skull. <laughs> I have no idea. My scalp. Uh, my hair scalp thing has been uh, very dry so I have got I have gotten dandruff now um, so I have helped <laughs> my boyfriend use this up this month um, this is a shampoo for dandruff new word today okay uh, from Sanex and I really really like this because this is actually helping and it is cruelty free. I have found that out. Xanax is cruelty free. So that is really really nice that we have gotten a cheap alternative to a really um, expensive dandruff. That is such a weird word. Uh, shampoo. So yeah, this is done. Not really exciting, but it is done. Um, yeah, let's just take this one. I have talked about this quite a lot on my channel for the past few months because I had it in my roulette pan collab. This is the Oricam cleansing lotion like a face wash and I really really like this and I do miss it. It is it was quite nice and it is not very expensive at all. It is vegan and culture free so it is really really nice. Oricam is Danish obviously so it's easy to get a hold of in Bilka, which is a big supermarket like Ulta or something like that. Mm, I have used up this small sample of the Ivy Aya face cream with Pro Vitamin B5 for normal combination skin. Again, this is a small sample that I am traveling with. Um, I used it up just before we left actually, so I didn't have to uh, bring this with me because I had so little left, like three uses and it was gone. So I just used it the week up to we went on vacation and it was done. I will buy this again in a heartbeat for traveling because it is such a small one and it lasts so long. In total it lasted me like a month. Um, so that is really really nice. So that is a good one. And it is cruelty free of course. The Body Shop Carrot Cream and it is a moisturizer and I used it mostly in the morning time but in the end I used it as a nighttime uh, moisturizer as well because I ran out of my night cream. I liked it mostly in the morning time because it is a very lightweight uh, moisturizer and I need something a little bit heavier in the evening time. Um, so this is not that good for an evening lotion. It doesn't have SPF in it so that is really a bummer if you think about that at least for your skin. It is really nice underneath makeup and yeah it is really nice but I don't think I will buy it again just because I didn't like the carrot scent. Okay then we have an eye cream and I go for you one of these uh, a year. It is an eye cream from Matas Nature, uh, Nature line, the organic line with E vitamin and organic aloe vera and I really really like this. This is my second or third tube of this and it has a pump so it go goes upwards and then you can't pump any more out and you are basically done. I'm using something else but I do think I will buy this again over the one that I'm using. I do like this a little bit more because it is 
it's not heavy but it's not really lightweight so it is just the perfect in the in between lotion but i i'm not using on it on my eyelid in the morning time otherwise my makeup will crease on me but i do use them under my eyes and then on my brow bone but not on the eyelid itself so i will buy this again because it is really really good then we have a body lotion and this is the Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. I really, really like this scent. It has a flowery scent. It has a flower scent because it is organic rice milk and cherry blossom, like the pink flower you see in Japan. The container itself I'm going to keep because it is just beautiful. Look at that. It has like a wood kind of lid. It's, it's not wood, but you know, the... the container is beautiful so i'm going to use this for my departed of franken body lotion in the future because it is just beautiful and it is so much prettier than my the body shop container that i'm using right now but it is very perfumery and i don't know if rituals is actually cruelty cool free i need to look into that i don't think they are which is sad because rituals is amazing for the skincare um but yeah this was really really nice and if you don't care about culture freeness and stuff like that, and if it is not culture free, I will recommend Rituals anyway because they are so amazing. And all the products smells good. The last product that I want to talk about is my Matas Nature from the same line as the eye cream. It is the salt body scrub. This was really, really nice and I actually miss it. Um, I'm using something from the body shop right now and it is so different than this because this is not as oily, which I really, really like, actually. Um, this has also E-vitamin and aloe vera in it. And this is really, really nice for the skin as well, because it is without perfume um, and parabens. It's really, really nice and organic and everything like that. Cruelty-free and all that good stuff. So this is definitely something I would look into buy again. Or just a body scrub soft body scrub from Matas because those are really really nice i have used up quite a bit of those from different lines from them that is my empties right now so i have let's just count it just for fun one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve empties that's that's okay <laughs> not my best month but it's okay so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it was I felt like it was on the shorter side, but it probably wasn't. I had a lot to talk about, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I tried to do these monthly. I really wanted to do it before <laughs> July ended, so I had to do them together again. I don't really want to do that. I hope you guys are okay with it being a little bit light uh, into the month, but I'm trying to be better. But I was on vacation until like a few days into july so i couldn't do it before and stuff like that because i didn't know if i wanted if i finished anything on vacation i didn't but i didn't know that so i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time